Hey, it's Jess from Sally Tomato. Today I'm going to show you how to confidently install metal grommets into a bag. So stay tuned. Metal grommets are very easy to install and they make your handmade bags very durable. You don't need any special tools to install them, but here's what you're going to need. A marking pen, a ruler, a seam ripper, a scissors, a scrap of batting, a mallet or hammer, and your grommets. Today, specifically, I'm going to show you how to use Sally Tomato Snap Together grommets. These grommets have an inner diameter of a half inch and an outer diameter of one inch, so they're great for attaching narrow straps or adding a drawstring. They are double-faced, which means they look great from both sides. Also, there are five colors available to choose from. So let's jump right into the tutorial. The first thing I want to talk to you about is interfacing. It's very important to make sure that your project is interfaced properly before you install your grommets. Usually your pattern will explain how to interface your bag, and often there's a bit more interfacing where the grommets go in. Now it all depends on the project and the fabrics that you're using, but I usually recommend using a mid-weight interfacing on the areas that you're going to install the grommets, and also a layer of fusible fleece. You want your grommets to have a nice tight fit, so make sure you have a strong foundation. When you're ready to install the grommets, the first thing you need to do is mark the placement of your grommets on your bag. Usually your pattern will tell you where the grommets need to be inserted, but if not, it's a good rule of thumb to insert them about one inch down from the top edge of your bag, and then equally space them across the front and the back according to the width of your bag. Now I'm making the Magnolia bucket bag, so I'm going to follow the instructions for placement on the pattern. Next, you'll need to trace the inside circle of the grommet by centering one half of the grommet over your placement mark. And then repeat this for the rest of the placement marks. The next step is to cut the holes for the grommets. There are a number of ways that this can be done but it's very important to cut an accurate hole in order for the grommet to fit properly. If the hole is too big, then your grommet may pop out of place or not cover the raw edge. It's also important that your fabric doesn't shift when you cut through the layers. One of the ways to prevent this is to put pins in your fabric around the areas that you plan to cut. I can't do this because I'm using cork fabric, so I'm going to have to be extra careful to not shift any of the layers. One way to cut the hole is with a seam ripper and scissors. I like to get the hole started by poking my seam ripper through the fabric and cutting a slit. Just be careful to not cut beyond your circle. Then take your scissors and cut out the circle. Another way to cut the hole is with a hole cutter. This is the most accurate way to cut the holes. If you choose to use a hole cutter, you'll also need a small block of wood or an old cutting mat. To use a hole cutter, position your bag over your block of wood or cutting mat, then center the hole over your placement mark and hit the top of the cutter with a hammer. It's common for hole cutters to not cut clear through all of the layers, so you may have a few threads to snip. Once all of your holes are cut, it's finally time to install the grommets. Make sure you're on a sturdy work surface because we're going to be using the hammer again. There are two halves to each grommet. The male piece is taller with a few sharp points that will help grip the fabric. 
The female piece is shorter and smoother. Either half can be on the front of the bag, but I usually like to insert the male piece from the right side to grip the front of the bag and place the female piece against the lining. At this point, you can snap the grommets together with your hands, or what I like to do is cover each side of the grommet with a scrap of batting and hit the grommet with a hammer a few times. And that's all there is to it. You'll just repeat the same process for the rest of the grommets until you have them all installed around the top of your bag. I hope you'll really enjoy working with grommets. Just take your time marking the placement and cutting the holes. If you like the grommets that I showed in this video, there is a link below to purchase them on my website. If you don't have a pattern that uses grommets yet, then be sure to check out my Magnolia Bucket Bag pattern as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Also, I'd love for you to head over to my Facebook group and share what you're making with Sally Tomato Grommets. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you create.